Item number SCP-845 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Specimens of SCP-845 are to be contained in a hermetically sealed chamber, at least 4 by 6 by 3 meters in size, with no more than 7 individual specimens kept in a single chamber at any given time. The bottom of each chamber should be covered to 15 centimeters with clay-rich soil, save for a reservoir of fresh water, as well as a dispersal of sticks and logs. The chamber should be brightly lit during daylight hours and dimly lit at night. The reservoir should be continually stocked with small fish for feeding, as SCP-845 will not recognize non-living fish as food. Wild specimens of SCP-845 are to be captured and transferred to a suitable containment facility. Waterways believed or confirmed to be inhabited by SCP-845 should be sealed off from the public and carefully monitored for activity until such time it is believed that all specimens have been captured. Description SCP-845 is a species closely related to both the European polecat, Mustela putorius, and domesticated ferret. Mustela putorius furo. Specimens of SCP-845 appear similar to a common hybrid between these subspecies, with dark fur, a pointed muzzle, and an elongated body. SCP-845 demonstrates greater prevalence of social behavior and diminished territorial instinct compared to European polecats. SCP-845's anomalous abilities manifest when a specimen is startled, hunting, or, rarely, when participating in play behavior. During such times, specimens are capable of fully converting their bodies into a liquid. In this state, the specimen is a light brown liquid with a density slightly less than that of water. It will most often flow freely but will change viscosity rapidly if it is in danger of being separated into multiple masses, which has been shown to invariably kill the specimen, and will revert to its solid form if it is in extreme danger of this occurring. Its liquid state shows limited motility on land, but is extremely mobile underwater, capable of forming itself into complex hydrodynamic structures, including fins and water jets for use in hunting fish. Analysis of its liquid state is ongoing, but has revealed the presence of fiber-like structures connecting nodules of data expunged. Specimens of SCP-845 seem to seek out small, contained spots for resting, including in their liquid state. Because of this, specimens are known to sometimes enter humans' canteens while on camping trips. If a human or other animal attempts to consume part of a specimen, the specimen will either attempt to retract itself from the subject's mouth, or may force the subject to consume it in its entirety. Both seem to be instinctual reactions, attempting to remain in a single piece. Upon being deposited into the subject's stomach, the specimen will enter an apparent state of confusion, switching rapidly between solid and liquid states. Shortly afterwards, the specimen will re-solidify and initiate burrowing behavior in an attempt to escape. The subject will experience severe internal bleeding and acute peritonitis as the specimen tears through the walls of the stomach, muscle, and tissues of the abdominal cavity. Upon successfully breaching the surface of the subject's skin, the specimen will enter a liquid state and exit through the wound before re-solidifying and attempting to return to its original habitat. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-844, Cry Baby, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.